hi loves welcome back to my channel um i know that usually i just post like home cafe recipes or um, some vlogs when i go travel on my youtube but today it's going to be a very interesting video um, i mean i plan to start this kind of video so stay tuned uh, when you live in korea uh, it's natural that you might run like you might meet some celebrities like once in a while and be cool about it perhaps ask for an autograph or just like take a picture or video but knowing me like i am oblivious i don't freaking know celebrities in korea i should really learn like it's my third year and like i don't even know k-pop idols i don't know i'm i'm really sorry but i don't know how bts like uh, i don't know the members of bts um even though i'm actually sponsored by them <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm gonna learn, I swear. And I just don't know, like, I just don't freaking know them. Um, so basically, when I was working at the cafe in Itaewon, <laughs> um, I was working as a barista. I'm actually a baker, but I was uh, also trying to make coffee because I was really curious how it is made. So I was working there, right? It was all cool, and it's a quite a famous place. And... Uh, I remember uh, one day it was I, w I think it was one of my last days there. Uh, I was working, I was just minding my own business. Like, sorry, my camera just like <laughs> went out. out. So uh, I remember it was like a morning, and there weren't many people. <laughs> so like two guys walk in, and they were, they were both like wearing masks. It was like a few months ago. I think it may be like September or something. So it was like uh, they were wearing masks and both of them were Korean and they were wearing like uh, hip hop style clothes. It's quite unusual for this kind of cafe because usually couples or like just like girls or just friends they go like together. But like guys wearing like hip hop, like all cool, like rapper stuff, like it's very rare, okay? And I was like, okay, that's interesting, like that's cool. So they walk in. And then, um, like at our cafe, you have to order, you have to get seated and then you have to make an order first, like at the counter and then go back to your seat and then we we'll bring the food or like whatever, right? So um, they come to, to the counter and then they order like some food and also they order green juice, which is like my responsibility, right? So they ordered two green, juice, green juices and basically how we make the green juice at the cafe we add a lot of greens, celery, blah 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 and then we add apples because to make it sweeter, right? So um, I was like, so my manager told me, okay Tana, like two green juices, I'm like, cool So I started preparing it and then um, they were like, they come up to me and they're like, oh, but no apple, uh, to one uh, juice, don't add apples and I was like, what? But that's gonna be nasty. Like, it's not good without apples. And then uh, they were sitting nearby the counter. Like, they chose a place there nearby. So I straight up, like, without just, like, I don't care. I'm like, are you sure you don't want apples? And he was like, no, it's okay. No apples. And I'm like, but it doesn't taste nice. They're like, it's okay. It's okay. I'm like, okay. So, and then I see my... Um, one of my coworkers, she just came like from a bathroom or something, I don't remember. She sees them and she starts freaking out. And I was like, why are you freaking out? Like, chill. And then, like, she's just like minding her business and stuff like that. And then I was like, um, oh, she was like, oh, I, I know, I know he's a rapper, he's a rapper. I'm like, okay, like, cool, like, I see. So then, um, they're like, uh, I made the... Oh, I got so scared because okay never mind so i'm making the juice and then um she brings the juice to them and then i'm li like i'm seeing how he's drinking it and i was like is it good like and then he looks at me he was like it's perfect and i was like okay cool enjoy and then i'm just like yeah whatever and my friend just gives me such a bad stare and i was not my friend co-worker and i was like what she's like donna don't you freaking know who he is and i was like no like two korean guys that speak english i don't know like who it's like tana he's like don't you know this rapper i'm like okay show me what rapper and then she shows me like a google page it's dpr live do you know who is dpr live basically 
and I start laughing because it's my second time meeting him in person and both times I don't freaking know how he looks like so I don't react, I don't freaking do anything and I'm just being straight up awkward with him like legit because I don't know how he looks like I like his music and stuff like that but like what? so I'm like are you serious? and then I look I'm like damn that's actually him and she's like Tana she's like uh, he actually comes to our cafe a lot so I'm like oh that's cool because like I'm not gonna yeah he just likes our coffee, cafe, I guess. And then I'm like, okay, cool. Maybe like uh, later on I could like take a picture since I'm a blogger, right? Like with him or something. And well, because I made uh, green ju green juice for DPR Life and his manager. I think that's quite cool. No, it's a good content. So I think as a blogger, I'm like, oh, I should talk to him later on. Like be like, yo, like I love your like music, blah, blah, blah. She's, and she just like looks at me. She's like, she's very friendly. But then she's like, Tana don't you freaking dare and i was like like chill like why she's like tana i freaking like uh she, basically she's his fan and she's just scared to scare him away and she's like because of you he's not gonna come to our cafe because you're gonna make him uncomfortable and stuff like that and this just goes ballistic on me and i'm like okay i'm not gonna talk to him like calm down like i was just like i was just I don't know, like reacting like a normal person, I guess. And then she was like, she like for five straight minutes, she was like, don't you freaking talk to him. Like you're going to scare him away and you're going to like, she's like, because I work here. I'm like, well, excuse me, I work here too. But like, what the hell? No, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, so I just let it slide. But that was our, like one of the many, many awkward moments I had with celebrities that I didn't know. And I was just like, is it just good? Are you sure it's good? Maybe I should add some apples. She's like, no, it's good. Perfect. I'm like, okay, enjoy. Like the way I said it was just so like, oh my God. But anyway, there is basically uh, in Seoul, there is an um, area called Hanomdong. It's nearby Itaewon. I love that area because there are a lot of nice cafes and stuff like that. So I go there quite a lot. Like I used to go with my friends. So um, there's particularly like one of the cafes, one of my favorites. Uh, it's called 33 Apartment. It's a really hip and cool place, so definitely check them out if you're in the area. And I uh, went there once with my friend, and we're just like casual walking around in the neighborhood, taking pictures and like stuff. And then uh, I see like a line in the cafe. Usually it was a weekend, so I was like, okay, I guess that's because it's the weekend. But still, there were quite a lot of like people. So I was like, okay, let's just wait because we came for the cafe. So at least let's take like take out cups and go. So we're just like waiting, waiting. And then I see so many people like freaking out and taking pictures of like barista in a cafe. And I was like, okay, like they have cute baristas. I like, I'm not going to disagree. That's, that's true. But like not until like not to that extent. So I was like, what's going on? And my friend was like, what? Like, okay. So we're just like waiting, minding our own business. And then finally, it's like our turn to take the coffee. And then I walk, uh, like we come inside and then there's like a tiny, tiny, tiny lady. Like she's the, she's so adorable and she's so cute and she's really pretty. So I was like, oh, oh like she's cute. Like who is she, you know? Because I can definitely tell she's not a barista there. Like she doesn't look like it. And there were a lot of cameras, so I guess that's not it. So I was like, okay, another freaking moment where I don't know who the hell it is and other people are just freaking out. So when we ask, I'm like, oh, like, um, like, and she's just like, oh, what coffee do you want? I'm like, how's your day and everything? I'm like, oh, thank you. Like, I want this coffee, like latte. She's like, okay, I'll prepare like nice latte art for you. I'm like, oh, thank you. She's like, I've been practicing all day, like since morning. I'm like, oh, like that's so nice. And then, well, she can tell that we're foreigners because my friend, she's like Italian. Hi, Maddie, if you're watching this. So, um, and yeah, and then she just like prepared our coffee. And then I'm like, I just like take a video of how she's making it and stuff. And then after everything, like everything. So and then I freaking find out that it is Sandra Park, which is like a very famous uh, singer and like uh, actress in Korea. She's I think also famous in Philippines after I read about her. And she was also one of the members in 2NE1. 
and the hot seat <laughs> but yeah so it was basically her uh, she made my coffee without me even knowing it that it was her I could have freaking took a picture with her I could have took a video I could have done something but no of course because Tana doesn't freaking know and she's so oblivious and that's my fault <sighs> so it was still a really nice uh, cup of coffee <laughs> and yeah um, later on when I checked like the uh, cafe Instagram like I saw her and I'm like I have a mail so here as you can see right here oh well anyway that was a very nice uh, cup of coffee that was made by Sandra Park so next in line of our awkward situations with celebrities Tana so um, why I decided to actually talk about celebrities is because I remember that was one of the epic moments that they still cannot get over about it was one of the days of like soul fashion week it was like two or three years ago i don't remember it was my first time and uh, it was my first day of soul fashion week so my friends and i we went there like all hyped up and everything and one of my friends uh, she told me that uh, her other friend will be there so we gotta say hi with her boyfriend and i'm like okay cool like i'm sure why not so we go there like so many people so many like models everyone looking flawless beautiful i'm like yay like taking pictures being models ourselves uh by the way like you can see some of the pictures here and then um so we then meet her friend right my friend is uh from ukraine but she's from america hi Xenie. <laughs> and then um her friend is also from ukraine i think i don't remember or from russia and she's like i just want to say hi so she comes up to us she's very like beautiful she's like a doll and i'm like she's so cute so we speak russian right and then she comes with, with her boyfriend and i'm like he's also quite cute like he's i think korean from russia so i'm like oh like such a cute couple and then they start talking and stuff like that but the guy is just standing quietly right like because he doesn't know us and we don't know him so us girls talking and then uh because it's like all of the girls like my friends as well so i'm like oh we should take a picture They're like yeah <laughs> so freaking me without even like waiting for others to say something i just take my phone and i just give it to the guy i'm like yo take a picture for us uh will you like in a nice way but like like in russian you know and everyone was like at me and i'm like what like let's smile so we just smile and then just take a picture and he's like uh, uh, uh sure and then he just like takes a picture and then gives it to us i'm like oh that's a great picture thank you and then i'm just like minding my own business looking around and then my friend is done talking and the second the couple leaves they're like tana what the hell and i'm like what they're like tana didn't you know who he was and i was like no like it was your friends like who else she's like tana like i could tell my friends were pissed at me beyond belief so like tana don't you freaking know the guy and i'm like no like how am i supposed to know like he's russian i guess like korean russian and then uh they're like it was freaking a uh, model like korean model i'm like oh really but he speaks russian because they're like because he's freaking from russia and i'm like okay so it turns out um later on they showed me his instagram and i was like okay guess who it was korean russian living in korea super famous and cute and he has like a mold somewhere here i don't know guess yep if you guess right it was yuri park Ta -da! and i didn't freaking know about it i actually didn't know about him before so i didn't know like only once the ones they showed me and later on when i would see him like on the runway or like on some advertisements i'm like okay and i still feel so awkward because i was just so oblivious and i was like usually people ask him for a picture and that's what he thought but i was like here take a picture and i was like of us and he was like oh okay why am i like this why am i like this for real yeah i had like a, f a lot of moments like that but i'm gonna share it like in the next um perhaps video but it would include korean idols like korean celebrities and clubs so me encountering them at clubs imagine it's double awkward and double more drama so stay tuned 
but I really hope that you enjoyed this uh, little, not actually little, I think it's, it went quite long, story time about like me encountering Korean celebrities uh, in Korea and being awkward about it because that's just who I am. I guess you all know it by that. And actually from now on, I'll, I plan to do this kind of story time with like about my worst dates, my nice dates, like just dating or just like my personal life in Korea more. Not too personal though, but like things that I could tell. And I'm sorry, but I'm loving the way my eyes look now because they never look like this, but hey, hey, hey. And I hope you have a great day. And I know that right now the situation is very uh, terrible around the world. So I hope that you're not too stressed out about it. like try to stay at home or just like try to be with yourself more with your family and like close people and i hope this video like made you laugh at least once because let's just say it made me laugh a lot but like in a very awkward awkward way yeah and my friends for me because they're just ashamed of me sometimes i think but um yeah i hope you have a great day and um i love you let me know if you like it and also comment down below like what kind of topics do you want me to cover in my pre like next um, uh, videos like my life in korea or like how good or how bad it is living here like how much you like you can learn earn and learn i guess so yeah i love you till next time <laughs>